Hello children, my name is Peter and I'm about to take you on a journey to a special world full of amazing characters who want to tell you about their lives, their adventures and their secrets. Now it is important, before I begin, that I want you to make sure that no one with unhappy thoughts can hear me. To enter this world, you must use your imagination and say the following words. I promise to love and protect all living things, especially plants, flowers and trees. When you say these secret words, the plant people will come and talk to you as they did to me many years ago. It all began in the morning after a great hurricane swept through Kent in England and destroyed almost everything in its path, including the old oak garden centre that I own. In the night I was afraid to go out as the house shook so much and objects were flying through the air. In the morning there was total silence so I nervously opened the door and stepped outside to find all the fences, sheds and greenhouses smashed and broken. All the pots, barrels and tables that had filled the garden centre the previous day had disappeared, taken by the hurricane. That was bad enough, but worst of all was the sight of tree after tree, plant after plant and flower after flower crushed and broken. They were like my own children that I had lovingly grown from seeds and helped them to become strong and beautiful. Suddenly my legs went weak and I slumped to the ground, unable to take it all in, and tears began to run down my face. As I sat there crying I noticed that there was not a breath of wind or a cloud in the sky and the sun was shining so brightly that it hurt my eyes as I squinted through my tears at the damage all around me. Then, all of a sudden, I thought I saw something move. I blinked, rubbed my eyes and saw the movement again. As I stared at the spot, something began to take shape. But, but what was it? It can't be, I thought. I must be seeing things, for there before me was this human-looking person, only a metre tall, leaning on what looked like a golden spade sparkling in the sunlight. And all around him were these amazing colours of the rainbow. I sat there in shock, unable to move a muscle. Good morning, human. I'm Uncle Dootrees. Where on earth did that voice come from? It can't have been this colourful little being with his red cheeks and tall green hat, as his lips hadn't moved. I looked to the left, I looked to the right, afraid of what I might see, then back to this strange little fella who was now smiling and waving at me. Hello, yes, it's me. I'm talking to you with my mind. I thought it was time we met, as we've lots to do if we're going to make this the best garden centre in England. I just couldn't believe what I was seeing and now hearing. Here I was, in the middle of a total disaster, listening to an orangey, hairy person wearing Wellington boots, telling me it'll be the best garden centre in England. I leaned over and splashed myself with freezing cold water, thinking the shock would bring me to my senses. But not so. There he was, and he was laughing at me. I decided to pretend it was really there, and being foreign-looking, I replied in a loud voice, which many grown-ups do when they meet people from foreign parts. Welcome to my god uh, uh. To my utter amazement, he suddenly started rolling backwards towards the pond as if the hurricane had returned. He stopped suddenly at the very edge, about to fall in. Help me! came a voice in my head. I thought of throwing him a rope, but there wasn't one around. Then out of nowhere, one suddenly appeared, and it was travelling through the air towards him. He grabbed one end, and I naturally grabbed the other end, and began pulling him towards me until he stood once again in front of me. Thank you, human. You saved my life, and I haven't, I haven't learnt to swim yet. What? I thought. I didn't do anything. Oh, but you did. In my world, thoughts are real. What you think happens. I was now totally confused. Here I was thinking things, and this person called Uncle Two Trees was answering me without speaking. Let me explain, said a voice in my head. In my world, we find it quicker to use our minds to speak to each other. You should try it. If not, please speak very softly, as a human voice is like a gale force wind, and you can see how much damage a strong wind can do. Use my mind? 
What is he talking about? And where did he come from, I thought. I come from a world called Plant World, where we use our special powers to help grow and protect living things in your world. Why haven't I noticed you before, I inquired. Oh, but you have, replied Uncle Two Trees. You simply didn't believe what you were seeing, just like most grown-ups. I suddenly remember those moments when I found plants that had been watered and moved, flower beds that had been weeded, and many other things I couldn't remember doing. I thought it was my imagination or old age making me forgetful. Yes, that was us reading my thoughts again. Pardon, did you say us? I asked, suddenly realising that there must be more than one because of all the work in the past. Would you like to meet them? I was suddenly no longer afraid, quite the opposite in fact. I now had a sudden desire to learn about Uncle Two Trees and the plant world, which I will tell you about in the next video. Bye bye for now.